Well, uh, hello, beautiful friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our, this is the weekly review of our daily chakra energy readings, and this is week 24 review. So, 24 weeks into the year of 2023. <laughs> so, yeah. So, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So, if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, there is a message here for you. So, let's get into this week 24 energy, shall we? So, just looking at all of the cards, of course, like, the, ye the color yellow is standing out, and it's yellow in, you know, different forms, so it's just yellow by itself, and then it's yellow swirled with dark orange, or yellow swirled with red, and orange, and even yellow swirled with green, like a greenish, orangish, green and orange, yeah. So, uh, the yellow represents our, our solar plexus chakra, <laughs> so our third chakra. And so, even though these cards are the auric field of the mental body, secondary chakra, soles of the feet, secondary chakras, elbows, and secondary chakras, palms of the hands, I still feel that it has to do with our solar plexus chakra in the way that this week we were building up confidence in whatever aspect it is within ourself. And so we were, I f I'm hearing like getting our feet more solid on the ground this week. So however that message applies to you within your own journey you will know but yeah and like mentioning that it's funny that two of the cards that we have are the soles of the feet chakras and we have also palms of the hands chakras so it's like we got hands feet elbows mental body third chakra which is well it's like right in the center of our body and so, a lot of, yeah, just balancing and grounding is what I am feeling. So, let's get into this weekly review. So, this is Jan or January, oh my gosh, <clears throat> June 11th through the 17th of 2023. So, Sunday through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. So, yeah, so let's take a look into our energy for Sunday. So on Sunday, the 11th, we received the auric field of the mental body. And card number 15 flowing freely, my mental body is becoming stronger from one second to the next. Flowing freely, my mental body is becoming stronger from one second to the next. So, think throughout your week. How were you feeling in your mental body? Were you starting to feel more secure in the decisions that you were making? Were you starting to feel more secure about just your mental state in general so you know it could happen at any time during the week but that was one of the energies coming through for us this week so 
just think back throughout all your throughout the week for all of these affirmations and see when they were valid for you like what days it doesn't necessarily matter but if you do want to hear the meaning on any of these affirmations then you can definitely go to that specific day and watch that reading so this is for the 12th monday june 12th this is our solar plexus chakra third chakra energy coming through and card number 48 the raw wind of life breaks my resistance and allows me the opportunity to understand my power anew and use it even more meaningfully the raw wind of life breaks my resistance and allows me the opportunity to understand my power anew and use it even more meaningfully so that just that affirmation alone is a very powerful affirmation because it is getting to the core part of us and telling us to you know let go of anything that we are resisting so however it applies to you and wherever it applies it's all different for each of us but that is just that energy coming through for us is I, I feel that we are all coming to a point where it's time for us to step into something new to go past a barrier that we probably have put up for ourselves and in this moment we are being guided to push past that so however it applies to you you will know so next this was the energy for the 13th Tuesday secondary chakras soles of the feet card number 121 I let go of the past and turn to the present I let go of the past and turn to the present so exactly that energy where where was where is it that you needed to let go and move forward what is it that you need to you know release in order to be able to be present in the present so that's what another energy that we were being guided to look at within ourselves this week so next we have a secondary chakras elbows number 104 and this is everything that makes me happy comes to me abundantly and I gratefully accept it everything everything that makes me happy comes to me abundantly and I gratefully accept it I love that affirmation so I feel that with that affirmation coming through we're being guided to start stepping more into the energy of believing in our own abundance in believing that we deserve to have the things that you know we desire you know I feel that like within society it's saying like well you're never all, you're not going to get everything that you want <laughs> you know just like things that make us believe that not getting the things that we want in life is normal and is expect to be expected and not the other way around because what we're trying to do like what I'm trying to do at least here on this channel is cultivate the opposite thought patterns like within myself and within anyone who watches my videos is I I feel that we are meant to be abundant we are meant to have everything we want we are meant to be in a truly happy state and just because the 
common thing within our society worldwide is to be unhappy that doesn't mean that it's normal you know just because that is the common thing that doesn't mean that it's normal and that doesn't mean that it's the best thing for everyone I feel that it's time for us to change the narrative of human nature to change the to change our frequencies and to raise our frequencies and to cultivate a new way of life for humans and so that is something that you know me with my videos is just a small part of trying to help cultivate that mindset within the people who watch these videos so yeah everything that makes me happy comes to me abundantly and I gratefully accept it I feel that if we were all to start using that affirmation and holding that within us once we everything everything will then come to us like everything that we that makes us happy will come to us abundantly and we will find ourselves in an unlimited space of happiness which is where I think that we are all meant to operate from so yeah so this is the energy for the let's see 11 12 13 14 15th <laughs> so so that was the energy of the 14th and it was 104 on the 14th so if you want to see the meaning for that affirmation like read from the book then you can go back to the 14th and watch that reading so number oh, for the 15th we have secondary chakra yang energy card number 86 I make friends with my inner warrior I make friends with my inner warrior and this is us making friends with the masculine part of ourselves the masculine part of ourselves however that is represented whatever the masculine part of you is like some of us have a brutal <laughs> brutal masculine part some of us have a um just kind of a more subtle masculine part who's just you know quiet not too not too loud and, and fiery um, not too Mars I suppose but I feel that we're being you know with this energy we're always being guided to make friends with that part we're make, guided to make friends with the warrior within us the masculine the divine masculine energy within us and to look him in the eye love him appreciate him accept him and and then live harmoniously with that part of ourselves so this week we were guided to make friends with our inner warrior once again we've gotten this card a few times and i feel that you know we're still we're going to continue to get this card because we do need to be reminded to make friends with our inner masculine energy so on friday the 16th we had the seventh chakra blank card energy which as you know um is usually a card of a blockage and so we asked for a follow-up card to help with any blockage within the crown energy and we received the secondary chakras palms of the hands card number 111 and if like seventh chakra and 111 energy isn't just glorious <laughs> so the affirmation I joyfully radiate happiness to the world around me I joyfully radiate happiness to the world around me so this energy was coming out for us to recognize and to 
start radiating joy and happiness to the world around us. And we could do that by finding joy and happiness within ourselves. So whatever that is, and it ties back into this other affirmation that the secondary chakras elbows that everything that makes me happy comes to me abundantly and I gratefully accept it. If we are doing this, then we will joyfully be radiating happiness to the world around us. So that is uh, something that, you know, we were being guided to do this week. So look back through your week and see how that applied to you. Maybe there was one day that you were just like, I'm such a ball of great energy today. Like, you know, maybe somebody said that to you or maybe you just felt it within yourself and you real, you made the conscious connection that you were putting out good energy at that moment and it made you feel really good. So, yeah, that is one thing that does feel good when you realize that you are putting good energy out into the universe and you're, you make that conscious connection, it does feel so good, so, <laughs> all right, so last but not least, we have secondary chakras, soles of the feet, card number 123, I gradually give up all of my illusions and accept the true nature of life more and more, I gradually give up all of my illusions and accept the true nature of life more and more. So, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about as far as us being happy. The true nature of the human is to be happy. The true nature of us is to be in our highest version. And so, with this, I feel that this week we were being guided to look at what illusions we're telling ourselves or what illusions we are holding on to that we need to release and to start making the changes that we need to to release those illusions so yeah this was a very very good week and uh, I love the energy of this week I love the cards I love the color of the cards and I love I love to see the way that the colors shift each week and so yeah but that is the week 24 review I hope that you all found something that you resonate with and if you did then please feel free to like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below if you so choose so thank you so very much if you enjoyed this reading then put a yellow heart down in the comments and yeah thank you so much for being here I love you I appreciate you and I will see you all in the next one